They gave Atom 2 owners a brand new update that doesn't just fix stuff, it has five big free features, and one of those features is so awesome, but I'll save that one till the end, and trust me, you want to see it. Let's start with the one that caught me completely off guard, taking photos while recording video. But now there's a little photo button that comes up when you press record, you just tap that while you're recording, and boom, you've got both. And the photo worked as normal. It's one of those features where you think, why wasn't this always here? It saves you from having to choose between stills or video, and you can just create without overthinking it. Next on the list is Potenzik has added sphere panoramas. We already had horizontal and vertical panos, but now you can create the full 360 tiny planet look. And what the drone does is it basically takes a bunch of photos and stitches them all together. I've heard a bunch of people complain that the app doesn't stitch the images together, but the sphere pano feature does stitch the individual, individual, does, <laughs> it does stitch the individual images in the drone. It places a final stitched image in the root directory, and you can also get all the individual images that were used to make the final stitch image in a pan directory with the same file name. Okay, number three, one of the smartest changes is camera definition and saturation control. Saturation by default used to be quite full on and really, really vibrant, and you would just usually fix it in post, but being able to do it on the fly now is so much better. So you can drop the saturation a bit, lower the definition, which is the sharpening, and suddenly your footage looks way more cinematic and way less flat. Now, number four is one of my favorites is spot metering. Obviously, drones, like other drones, more expensive drones, have this feature already, but this is a beginner drone, remember? But now you just tap the area you want to expose correctly and boom, the atom exposes for that area. It's simple, but it makes a huge difference for anyone shooting in tricky lighting. All right, time for the one that I teased at the start. This is called Cineroll. So you just turn it on and the Atom 2 flies forward while the image slowly rotates. Suddenly you've got footage that looks like it came straight out of Inception. The effect looks fantastic, especially flying through trees, over people or between buildings. But win. Favorite. 